Hello and welcome to another update video about Engine Coin. Uh, the last one I did a week a week ago, and um, since then a few interesting things have happened. Um, I also want to, before we start, actually, I want to make sure that you understand this shape that we're currently forming here. So we've got this cup shape and handle. Cup and handle is a bullish pattern, which is likely to break to the upside. And we did something very similar when we were in the same position with Koti. So Koti as well did this cup shape and handle. But since then, it actually broke to the upside. You can clearly see that from down here at around 30 cents, we had a 2x at least. Yeah, we actually a little bit more, um, but we also had a trend line here that we formed very clearly and we came down to that trend line and from then on we broke out, we did a retest and then we broke out again. So that was the fulfillment of the cup and handle. With engine coin, this hasn't happened yet. And I'm not saying this must happen, it's never guaranteed, but it looks likely and it could follow the same pattern that Koti did follow. So where are we now? We have this ascending trend line, touches here, three touches at the moment, which is important. We have this horizontal resistance level, which there are two things. The first thing is that we have a ascending triangle. Yes, it's a weak one because that ascending trend line is quite, is not very steep. With Koti, it was a bit um, steeper, um, but also it depends on, you know, I would need to measure the angle now. Um, but it looks a little bit steeper on the on the Koti chart. But um, anyway, we, we came all the way up there. We had um, various touches down here. That was Koti. We came down all the way to that um, trend line. And from then on, we really went to the moon. Now here with Engine Coin, we are just at that level. We are at that tipping point where we came down to that ascending trend line, to that support level. So what we have yeah we have some sort of ascending triangle because we have a horizontal resistance line you can clearly see that here and an ascending trend line we are currently on the very short term we are trading in that descending um, wedge yeah which is a bullish pattern as well which is forming that handle currently of the cup shape so if that is playing out we could really see a breakout at, yeah, any minute, really, you know, any minute, maybe in the next couple of days, maybe even today. I mean, we are gaining quite a bit of, um, making quite a bit of gains today here with 5.6%. From here, we could go all the way up to that crazy price target of $2.20. And that would be the neckline of that cup and handle. Um, I probably have to... I want to adjust that a little bit here if we have a horizontal one like that. But yeah, we could come all the way up to that 220 level in my view. Um, I think what, what might happen if we really break to the upside, it might happen something similar to Koti where we, we came up, you know, then we did another retracement and then came up. That is certainly what could happen. And I just want to sense it, um, yeah, give you a feeling for what could, could be happening here with this chart. Now, looking at the indicators, I don't know why they're not on the chart anymore, but if I just add the MACD again, um, let me just add them, there they are. Probably just did hide them. Um, here on the daily, I mean, the RSI is currently in the bearish range, but it was very close to the oversold level, which is probably why we see this nice gain at the moment. But you know, being in that range is not very good, but you know, the last time we were down here, we actually managed to get all the way back up into the overboard range. So it could just be that here on the daily, we're just setting up for another push to the upside. But to be honest, if we're looking at everything here, it is looking quite bearish actually, right? I mean, it could be that the MACD here is going to start a turning point, um, but the indicators aren't looking great. Just wanted to compare where we were at the same time when we were on the Koti chart. So on when we were at um, that tipping point when we were about to break out at the on the Koti chart, we were actually yeah we were actually much higher on the RSI. We were actually close. We actually came down from the overbought range. We were in the bullish range here about 50. Whereas on Engine Coin, we are in the bearish range, which puts us in a slightly worse position with engine coin because you know at least if you are like Koti was in that bullish range it was more um 
prepared to, to push really to the upside. And also here, the MACD looked much better, much healthier um, when we were breaking out on the Coty chart because Coty, at least the MACD line was above the zero line, whereas on the engine um, coin chart, we are below zero, which is actually a sell signal. And then also, where were we on the ADX? Well, the ADX, that actually made a bullish crossover. So we are quite far away from that with engine coins. So all of that is telling me it does not necessarily mean we are going to push very hard here to the upside like Cody did. Um, even though it possibly looks like that just looking at the pattern, but the indicators aren't showing me that. They aren't showing me that um, at the moment, at least not. So if we go to the hourly chart, just to take a look at what is currently happening there, I mean, we formed a double bottom here, which is a reversal pattern. So we came from, you know, in, in a short term downtrend here, a reversal pattern possibly. So that could, I mean, that could really help us to push to the upside. Um, but again, the RSI here on the hourly, we are getting close to the overbought range now. So might be in for another retracement here. We might actually continue a little bit further in that, into that apex. Um, yeah, the MACD is looking quite good, push to the upside. Also the ADX made a bullish cross here. That's on the hourly, the hourly looks good, but we can see that reflected in the price anyway at the moment. Let's just check the four hour. And you can see that here on the four hour that we actually tried to break through, but we received resistance. So you see that wick here at the top. That means that we faced some resistance when we actually tried to break through exactly this descending trend line. Um, now what we can see on the four hour is that the RSI is pushing through the 50 line to the upside. So potentially we will get into the bullish range here on the four hour and also the MACD is making a bullish cross here, made one on the 29th. And also the ADX is about to make, if we push a little bit higher, is about to make a bullish cross here, which would be a buy signal on the four hour chart. Now, if we are getting more positive on the one hour chart, which we are more positive on the four hour chart, which we are in terms of the indicators as well, that will at some point be reflected then on the daily chart as well. At the moment, I can't really see that yet on the daily, but um, that might mean we need a few more days to really get that reflected on the, on the daily chart. I will certainly stay close to it. At the moment, the daily indicators, they still look quite bearish and the downtrend doesn't seem to slow down at the moment, but we are certainly at a tipping point. So at the moment we need to observe that, clearly observe that. Um, I'm going to do another update video probably tomorrow. Um, it is showing on the short term indicator, it's showing that we have that push to the upside, but you would have seen that back here as well, to be honest. Um, what we certainly wanna see is a breakout here above that line, which is currently at yeah, 130. So we wanna break above 130. And then if we get above 150, if we get above 150, I think that would be re a re really nice push to the upside. That would be a first indicator that we can get actually all the way to 220. And getting in at 150, that would not be too late. I mean, you could still make from 150 to 220 potentially, you know, as, as profits. Um, so it's really hard to say what's going to happen. Um, you know, we are also below all the moving averages here on the daily. So it's actually overall looking a little bit more bearish than bullish in my view. We could actually push a little more, a bit more down, a little bit like IOTA did, and I will do an IOTA update video as well. Normally I would say, you know, Coty, I was much more bullish and Coty, I sort of, you know, you could say I predicted that break to the upside. It, it was just all indicate, everything was pointing towards that, you know, the indicators were looking much more positive and, we had the same pattern, which is actually quite bullish as well. But here we have the same pattern, but the indicators are actually looking quite bearish on the daily. So I would be careful, um, but certainly it's worth observing that because if that plays out, it would be a very, very interesting push and trade to the upside. Right, I can't really say more at the moment. I'm gonna update you tomorrow. Hope you liked that update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you wanna follow me on this crypto journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.